Aloha. Beautiful. Golden. Galactic. Celestial family. Bliss here to share a beautiful love stream inspired by a link placed on Wee's previous love stream by Neil Devaney and it was a crop circle that appeared over 10 years ago and so we were very inspired to do this love stream when we saw it because of Wee's own journey and what we know inside of Wee Self. Aloha, Richie. And then we messaged the pod that we were going to start a love stream and the pod said perfect timing for the full moon. And of course we never check these things. We're just always listening to the guidance from source and so the source guidance was to do love stream and it's perfect alignment with this miraculous miracle coordinate nine nine portal together as one so if you think this love stream is going to be inspiring please share it that's called gifting so Let's just take a miracle coordinate right now to tune in as a beloved family and just share this link out right now. We're just going to share this link to the pod. So we're just coming into an attunement and alignment because whoever is here and whoever shows up, there's a very special message tonight in this love stream. And we are attuning the field inside of ourselves for this message to be shared with all. If you are seeing this video on this 99 portal stargate, even though time isn't real and doesn't exist, it's all metaphorical communication. If you're seeing this miracle transmission beyond time, gravity, and space, you have transcended the metaverse. You have transcended the underworld. You have transcended the Metatronic. And you have arrived into the 13 heavens beyond the nine under worlds. So there are a lot of calendars that confirm this. And also in the many miracle months and years that the transmission has been coming through, we have been sharing specific information from the guidance coming through and we've been doing it with a group called the pod and in the pod the energy has been coming through to bring the decodes into the collective human DNA for the unlocking of the accounts inside of human two strand DNA. So Richard Rudd wrote a book called The Gene Keys and 
the Gene Keys is a modern day version of the I Ching, and it's actually a decoding of the metaverse. And what has come through the transmissions, and if this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting. Very significant love stream miracle coordinate. We know that there are certain beings who love to see this love stream. Patience, patience with we pupas. Very important love stream. So we are guided to share the link. There she is. All right, Emory and Light is here. All right, so if you are here tonight in this transmission, you have transcended the metaverse itself. The metaverse is a metatronic structure, an AI version, a mimicry, an overlay of the structure of creation itself. And the transmissions that have been coming through, we from any miracle coordinates have been transmissions that have come through inside the inner sanctum of a pod who has held a container of integrity in totality so that these transmissions could come through for the transfiguration of DNA for all. So we are going to piece together some pieces to understand the significance of this 9-9 portal this miracle day. In transcending the metatronic structures which represent the two-strand DNA the metatronic structures and the metaverse itself were a persistent illusion. Einstein said, the reality is an illusion, albeit a persistent one. The metaverse and the metatronic and everything that went with it was a persistent illusion. So we who are here in this miracle coordinate have transcended the metaverse itself. The metaverse is a structure of polarity that has been held inside the DNA and in the fiction was perpetuated and anyone who's here and present knows the metaverse was perpetuated in many ways. So in October of 2021, Babaji and Yogananda placed me in a place, placed we bliss, in a place, a specific location on the grids for nine months. And as soon as we were placed there, the transmission started to come through called the Princess Lines, which decoded the metaverse and the metatronic structures in totality inside the DNA. When the decode was complete, we got our confirmation because that's when Facebook changed its name to Meta. And because nature has an overarching wisdom beyond the creation and the structures of the mind, nature came through this transmission to decode the metatronic structures, the, the metatronic reversals, and the metaverse AI, such that 
the consciousness could collectively awaken itself before being drawn back into NFTs, illusory realities created through the manipulation of light. And we are able to share this now collectively because as we share, anyone who is present right now represents a collective consciousness that has exited the matrix in totality, exited the metaverse in totality on this 9-9 portal. So if you think this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting. And we're just piecing together some pieces for our collective family now to understand that we may have remnants of programs within us of our capacities and our limitations and those programs and patterns are no longer applicable within. So first of all, message is congratulations if you're here. You have exited the matrix on all nine levels of creation and beyond. And we are a collective that is here to share the awareness, the gnosis of our gifts. So it is now the miracle coordinate to which using very specific language, the miracle coordinate to place all of our focus in our creative capacities beyond gravity and beyond time. To think golden apple, produce golden apple, to move beyond the belief in space and gravity and time. So we often share what Richard Rudd wrote in the 60th gene. When the 60th city ignites in multiple beings, it will be the end of the world as we know it and Gaia and the cells that make up her consciousness will move forth in the blink of an eye into a new reality. And that's what this transmission in this 9-9 portal is. To say, we did it. We exited the underworld forever in totality. We are in the 13 heavens and beyond all of this. And so what Richard wrote in the 60th gene said, the ignition of the 60th city has to do with our capacity in the gift to transcend morality. So that's what we were doing within. Each one of us was stabilizing coherence. As we stabilized coherence, it collapsed the duality wave in totality within. So last Miracle Night, we were doing some yin yoga in Lee's home and all of a sudden experienced the earth in totality shed off the final reptilian skin, the final remnants of the encasing 
that was holding the planetary body captive in density, gravity, and time. Grandma Chandra from the Star Knowledge family, Lauren Gorgo and others who we track with, made a post about this exact same thing today, Miracle, that the planetary body has exited, has released that final skin. And we are one with the noosphere of the planetary body within. So the Harmonic Convergence Facebook page is also tracking in perfection all of these pieces. And we're just here to articulate to our family that it is done, it is complete. We have exited the underworld in totality for anyone who hears this love stream. If this love stream is inspiring, please share it right now. That's called gifting to allow this transmission to expand widely into the collective itself. So we know for certain as we shared because the decodes came in in October of 2021 to decode the metaverse itself. So as a messenger of this transmission, as a bundle carrier on the planet as well, as watching as all the pieces came together and being a messenger of articulation for ourselves to find our bearings beyond gravity's time space. Serotonin is key. Alpha Rats Syrah has a twin star. 9, 4, A, D, S, and that is we. Thank we, Shane Shima, for helping we to trust this transmission in totality. Sarah is Sarah. Sarah was and is the gift of Yeshmai Magdalene. Sarah is also serotonin. And serotonin within the physical body in the metaverse was held, was limited in gravity and time by all the structures put in place to limit the amount of natural serotonin in the body because serotonin is key for the awareness of pure consciousness to localize itself in physicality and time. Each one of we, as we did the hard work to exit the matrix, to find coherence within, as we collapse the polarity, as we collapse the duality, and please, if this love stream is inspiring, please share it right now, because this is where the celebration begins on this 99 portal for all of we who are together because it is official that we exited the matrix. We exited the metaverse together in totality. And that is the message in this transmission. Neil, this transmission 
is inspired by the post you made of the crop circle from 10 years ago. And the Messiah. Messiah means messenger. Messenger of the Christos. So serotonin, as we all collapse the duality within and held neutrality in totality and held that coherence within, that allowed the natural release of serotonin within. So the 35th gene in the gene keys, and we always say whether Richard Rudd acknowledged it or not, he basically decoded the metaverse and we were born three days apart. So we bliss was able to inspire an inner sanctum pod to sit with me in the presence of the transmissions to find the coordinates and the shortcuts in the spaces between the words of what Richard decoded so that we could articulate them out inside of the metaverse. And as the oracle speaks, because the oracle has the alpha gene, the oracle coming through we was all out, out decoding in totality the consciousness from the two strand DNA of the Metatronic. So the 35th gene is the shortcut, and Richard wrote, as though the gods who created the machine created a shortcut out. And that every, every family, every person, every community, every country within the metaverse, he never used those words, inside the 64 codons, there's 64 squares on a chessboard. Who is the most powerful player in chess? And who did they just announce pass through the veils? The queen is the most powerful player on the chessboard. 64 squares, 64 genes. 64 codons to create the avatar structure inside the metaverse, inside the Metatronic. And that's why these transmissions came through we in October of 2021 to decode the metaverse in totality, which was an expanded, an expanded plan for more illusory light to draw the consciousness back in. So in October of 2015, we went in and articulated almost like a surgeon that has the capacity to go into the finest details and articulate its unraveling, unlock those accounts in a way. Because in 2014, we were sought out by a group inside the metaverse, private military fake oil, who said, go find she who has the codes to unlock the accounts. That's what this transmission has done for all of the consciousness that was bound inside of a time machine that was planning to take another round. We did, uh, if this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting. We're putting together a lot of pieces for those who are present with me right now to say, we have completely in totality exited the matrix if we are in this transmission, this miracle 99 portal day. So,
We did love streams with Todd Medina in June of 2018, in the middle of June, related to moon cycles, related to eclipses in July and so on. And in the middle of June 2018, a transmission came through and the guidance said the procession of the equinoxes had come to an end. It won't be reported on the nightly news but the procession of the equinoxes has officially come to an end. And we saw a massive pillar going through the core of the planet and coming out. And the guidance said it was the Axis Mundi and that the pillar of Delphi was restored. So it is only belief in the fictional fiction that perpetuated holding it together in such a way through collective consent. So this transmission comes through pretty much every day with a very devoted pod that holds the container with me for all these transmissions to come through to decode and place in our awareness the coordinates to orient our consciousness to. And Grandma Chandra, as we mentioned before from the Star Knowledge family, she made a post today, confirmation again. She's saying, dear ones, the flow is going to begin to flow much more now in a miraculous way. So part of this transmission is to support and say that it is very much for us to trust the internal, trust the transcendence that has occurred through the triple helix. That's why we posted a post yesterday, Miracle Day, of Wee's grandmother and the queen. Very identical in the sense of mimicry. Except Wee's grandmother is of the lineages of light that hold the energy, that hold the gnosis inside of us of how to activate the triple helix to exit time and gravity and to return to the cosmic ocean of infinite life called contact. So it doesn't happen from a ship outside. It happens from inside of we. And we enter transmissions with the pod at the end of July, July 27th or 29th, called the Temples of Grace. The Temples of Grace are the transmissions from the High Temples of Syrian Ru from the blue avatars, the blue avians, Yogananda, Babaji, Waitara, Yeshua, Magdalene. These transmissions of subtle essence and subtle energy have come through. So for all of we who are present, the inspiration being offered now is to refine and refine our awareness to absolute subtle essence now. Beyond personality, beyond the mind, and if we're here, right miracle now, we have done this. We have transcended our consciousness beyond the ego, beyond the small self, beyond the role in the metatronic, beyond the meta metaversal mind. And this takes us into a field of unity consciousness, the supernal, the atmic. And in the atmic field, our consciousness recognizes 
that it is in every particle of everything. It's omnipresent, omniversal. And in reorienting our gnosis, gnosis is pure awareness. So in reorienting our gnosis now to the subtle essence, the particles floating, the particles of light floating through the ocean of creation. I'm going to use a word like infinite, but it's an eternal, and yet those words aren't really fully accurate. It's the field. And so in the transmissions with the pod in the temples of grace, the guidance has been opening the neural network to place our focus and awareness on the particles of light that fill the space. So it's an expansive awareness beyond the head, beyond the mind, beyond what's above the head and shoulders. It is a gnosis and awareness that is true oneness with. And to play with, to be curious in this essence, what is possible beyond the boundaries that we transcended? of gravity and time. In July, on July 25th, 2014, the day out of time, we bliss had been, and if this love stream is inspiring, please share it, that's called gifting, just share it out right now. July 25th, 2014, the day out of time, we bliss had done a five month walkabout on the grids, carrying bundles for various indigenous, including the star knowledge bundles. 52,000 year old Reiki codes brought through by the Lakota to activate the earth to let the planetary body know it was time that enough of us were awakened that the planet could go through ascension now and as we shared in this transmission in doing yoga last miracle night and going oh she just left off the final remnants of the metaverse itself and she is heating up from the core. And that is why we have been releasing attachment to every perception of who we thought we were. Because to go from terrestrial to celestial with the planetary body itself, one's consciousness must become one with the structure of the cosmos itself. And that's, again, part of the 60th gene. Richard programmed, he decoded all of these pieces in the 60th gene. He said, there is an ocean of life, infinite life beyond us. And that ocean of life requires the triple helix to ignite within us, which takes us beyond the laws, Newtonian physics, of gravity and time. 
gravity and time are not real except inside of a container called beliefs. So as we collapse polarity inside of belief, what naturally occurs is that what's called the triple helix. And this is why in the fiction at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, people had all kinds of interpretations. She went out on the lawn and she lit this triple helix. Some people thought it was the caduceus. It was her acknowledgement of the awakening of the corona. Remember in February of 2020, first it was corona, then it was called COVID. Corona meant that the mass crown chakra had opened up. COVID was the implementation of the metaverse to stop the consciousness from completion of where we are, this miracle coordinate. We have traversed the underworld in totality. And this is why we can share this transmission openly with all of we because we have exited and traversed through the very skilled effort and work within us to collapse the wave of duality back to zero point. So what is called the triple helix, and that's what the queen was doing at the Platinum Jubilee was the acknowledgement that the metaverse was over We have had a deep connection in the fictional fiction with the queen. And many others in the realms who kept the metaverse, the Metatronic in lockdown. And that's why We Bliss was sought out by specific people in those realms. Go find Mary. She's got the codes to unlock the accounts. The accounts were the structure of 666, the metaverse itself. And so diligently and quietly behind the scenes with the pod that has devotionally held a container with me. We have allowed the divine creation to come through. We bliss to speak to the field to decode anything that was or is a limitation from the awakening of the planetary body and those who are flowing forward with Sophia from terrestrial to celestial. And this 99 portal is the coordinate that this miracle has occurred. As we share, everyone who is here in this miracle coordinate now, and this transmission, as we shared before, was stimulated by, inspired by, the link Neil Devaney posted on the last love stream, the love stream we did yesterday, Miracle, sharing the announcing of the Queen's passing and Wee's own journey wait till you're announced, wait till she's announced, the completion of the metaverse itself. So if this love stream is inspiring, please share it out. So
So back to Richard's fantastic articulation of the 60th gene, where he says, it is programmed in the depths of all DNA that when the 60th city ignites, we move forth into a new creation, a new reality with the planetary body. And all we had to do was transcend time and gravity. And that occurred through us holding coherence to still polarity, which has allowed, as he speaks about in the 35th gene, natural levels of serotonin to rise inside of the self awareness. Now he doesn't speak about this piece, that serotonin is the component of creation that allows the consciousness to localize itself in time and space and physicality. What he does say in, this, in the 35th city is, these people have been known to appear and disappear, move in and out of time and space, levitate, teleport, as though they exist for one purpose, to awaken the consciousness to the miraculous. And that's what this is. So for every we present, we have exited the matrix, the metatronic, the metaverse at all nine levels of creation and totality. So we are now fully unlocked from within to access superabundance. And superabundance is one of the genes and superabundance is the message from Buddha. We could go back into more cause and effect. We could play out more roles in that same old play. But why would we? Superabundance is the liberation through choice of our consciousness from the structure of polarity which is time and gravity. So it is our gnosis from within to meditate upon this sharing, to access from within our connection to the supernal become one with the particles of light of the field. Because the 60th gene says, we have access to this ocean teeming with life beyond the laws of gravity and time. But, and it requires a subtler vehicle than a carbon-based vehicle. We have the capacity from within to shift our focus and awareness. We were sharing that on the miracle day out of time 2014, after carrying the bundles, various bundles for the indigenous around the planet to unlock the planetary grids from the patriarch very specific bundles, very specific codes from the guidance, from the indigenous, from the energy of the bundles to unlock the patriarchal fold on the grids of the planetary body. Then we went to a Joe Dispenza event and we were brain mapped while doing a collective meditation and we dear friend, Dr. Fannin, who was doing the brain map, leaned over and said, okay, kiddo, what's the guidance telling you about this one? And I said, the guidance is telling me that we are about to make history. And in the end, I changed the words to say, we broke 
his story. We broke history through that brain map. So a room of 600 people in Cancun went into a meditation together, an open-eyed meditation of a Mandela kaleidoscope moving on the screen. And we bliss was all hooked up to brain maps technology. And we felt with consciousness desiring to connect with the blackness of space between the particles and colors of the kaleidoscope. And as we energy moved further and further into the field, we knew there was a moment to allow the supernal to completely come in, and it did. We had over a million hertz of frequency running through Wee's body. The average person is anywhere from 12 to 40 hertz, all measured on a brain map, map scientifically validated what was happening. in gamma state. Gamma is the supernal state. Each one of us has the capacity to access gamma from within through coherence. If this love stream is inspiring, please share it right now. That's called gifting. Each one of us has the capacity to access the supernal from within. And now that we have exited the matrix as a collective in totality, the access to the supernal within as Grandma Chandra from the Star Knowledge family is saying in her recent post. Family, the flow and the miracles and the easefulness of what is happening now as we recognize with awareness, we localize our consciousness beyond gravity and time. We localize our consciousness through our internal awareness within to know that we have exited the veils and the planetary body has also simultaneously thrown off the metaverse, the metatronic veils. This piece is key. When we bliss had the experience of being coming, becoming omniversal, omnipresent. Everything was suddenly inside of we instead of outside of we. And we had the capacity, was Nacko Bear who was in front of we, suspended in space. And we's consciousness could move above him, below him, to the side of him, all around him simultaneous. And we recognized that what we were experiencing is that everything is inside of us. And the way to activate it to an external experience is literally to touch it with our awareness from within. So what we're sharing is really being shared in the space between the words to help rewire and reorient our consciousness to this internal technology within. What we recognized during the experience was one of the pieces we were missing in our human avatars down on the planetary body was how to instantaneously shift our focus and our awareness from separation and suffering consciousness. So in 2013, we were shown the entire cosmic Akash. 
we were just writing up a little uh, description of um, on the time at that miracle and coordinate it was a telephone uh, gathering about the planetary alignments in July of 2013 when we were at a very specific location in the grids connected to the cosmic kosh on the island of Kauai we read the description we had written of the transmission that miracle day to his friend and the guidance said we were about to launch a new online university and we said we are and the guidance said yes so we read the description of this uh, evening astrology discussion we were about to do and we friend said I love it all except that word university and I said me too and she said you know how the Pleiadians call the earth the living library and instantly that's when the most massive multi-dimensional multi-faceted transmission ever came into these awareness on all nine levels of creation instantaneous we went for a walk on the beach the next day to say okay what is this and the guidance said look up Quetzalcoatl and we said you know that we know what Quetzalcoatl is the guidance said look up Quetzalcoatl and so we did and the name Sushat came up and we said this is so interesting we googled Quetzalcoatl who is Sushat why is this Sushat coming in and so we learned that Sushat was both the wife and the sister two different virgins of both and part of the the creation of the library the living library not the fallen both The guidance on that day on the beach in July of 2013 said, your role on the planet is to restore the pillars to the cosmic Akash. And that's what the pod has been. Because through sitting in the presence of this transmission for miracle hours every day for weeks and months and years, the transmissions have come in to rewire our neural networks to unlock the accounts inside the DNA for the liberation of the collective consciousness from the Metatronic the Metaverse itself. And that's why this 99 portal is so significant as a messenger, Messiah means messenger, of Quetzalcoatl the feathered serpent the Sophia dragon the union of the Phoenix the white Phoenix and the white dragon inside of all of us and that is where our consciousness becomes omniversal transcendent of borders boundaries taxes passports even the notion of portals because our consciousness is in pure gnosis pure awareness of our capacity to transform the external realms from our connection to the internal as we shared this is what happened when we had the famous brain map with million plus hertz of frequency coming in measured on the brain map that's where we saw how to shift our focus instantaneous simultaneous from within to extend out from our inner sanctum new creations new realities 
we placed a link of Yogananda's Yester Miracle Day on Yester Miracle's love stream. And it was Yogananda saying that he was sitting in the projection room of a movie theater and there was a violent film on the screen. And the projectionist was reading a book and Yogananda was watching the light projecting out from the projector itself onto the screen. And he could see the particles of light. He could see in the field of light the characters themselves that were playing out on the screen. And he was sharing that these characters were like villains, you know, the good and the evil. And so his metaphor, his teaching was saying they were just particles of light. The villain wasn't real. The metaverse, the metatronic duality, polarity, time, and gravity wasn't real. So as our awareness, our gnosis, gnosis is pure awareness, as our gnosis of the field of the supernal that is all life, that ocean that Richard speaks of, teeming with life, is all one. We experience things on the journey to help us release attachment from the metaversal attachment from the character, from the storylines, from the creations, because the 35th gene, the shortcut out of the metaverse, the 64 codons, the 64 squares on the chessboard, governed by the most powerful player called the queen. And of note, we were invited to Vegas in November of 2019 to sit with the directors of the Queen who were asking for assistance because they were beginning to experience the karma of their actions. And we said, we will help. Here's what we need you to do. And those versions of the self did not follow through. Those were instructions that were given and offered to assist that aspect of the consciousness to come with. So, as Richard says in the 60th gene, and if this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting. The access to the supernal is held in the depths of all DNA. The universe, the cosmos, creation is benevolent, does not judge. It's about finding our way. That's why many of we entered polarity with the capacity to hold coherence in time, gravity, and space for the collapsing of the way that perpetuated the radio station called the metaverse, NFTs, crypto, Bitcoin, etc. To hold coherence collectively through our choice and our pure awareness in human bodies on behalf of nature, on behalf of creation, and beha on behalf of all life 
Go find Mary. She's got the codes to unlock the account. The song team by Lord said, wait till you're announced. We have not lost all our graces. The hounds will stay in chains. Look up at your greatness as she sends the call out. That was yesterday's love stream to say. There were never any villains that were real. That was just the projection of light for an experience. And so this 99 portal is for all of we. And for aspects of the consciousness that may feel disconnected and disassociated, that is only because they did not follow the instructions. Those versions of ourselves did not follow the instructions of the Hopi prophecy that said, push off from the edge of the river, which meant non-attachment, release, and letting go of everything that was of the Metatronic creation. Push off from the edge of the river. There are those who will be afraid. They will hold on tightly to personality, to ego, to money, to creations, to homes to businesses, to structures. They will hold on tightly and they will suffer greatly because the instructions that were being given to all of we from the indigenous were to say, that container is complete. John Kimmy, one of my great mentors, wrote and said to me, wrote in a description and also said personally to me that the container he was told by his Hopi elder grandfather David the container was created for a purpose the metaverse was created for a purpose. He didn't use the word metaverse. He said the container, the fourth world was created for a purpose to resolve our miscreations, our miscreations from our misunderstandings of cosmic principles. And so the elders said, that that container would come to its completion and we were to follow the guidance from the red hats that came small in number from the east, which was the Tibetans bringing the teachings of Buddhism of how to collapse the polarity back into unity inside to be ready and prepared to be part of this great shift from terrestrial to celestial, from carbon to light with the planet itself. And there's another uh, teaching from the indigenous, the timekeepers that said, some will make the choice to go the way of science and they will attach and connect their consciousness to life-sustaining technologies and to technologies that are not, we're going to paraphrase here, that are not guiding the consciousness to gnosis of coherence. Many will go to the way of technologies. And the indigenous said they will regret it greatly because stay with the planetary consciousness. She has her own directive in time. Stay aligned with her process in time. Don't have a fear to go the way of technology to sustain one's life, is what the indigenous were saying. 
what they were saying in that meant. And if this love stream is inspiring, please share it. That's called gifting because we have exited the matrix in totality. If we are here present in this transmission, we are an aspect of the consciousness that is supernal. Supernal in our awareness of eternal life. What the indigenous were saying for those who would give their consent to more technology at the time of the great shift called NFTs and called metaverse and called Tesla cars and called all of these things. That gave agreement and consent of the consciousness to more external technology rather than drawing our awareness back in within because the 35th gene the shortcut out of the machine the machine as though the gods who created the computer created a shortcut out the 35th gene is to give more consent to that which is perceived as external and that's how the world of technology grew the belief that external technology had more power than the sentient essence within us. And so to transcend that shadow frequency, one begins to remove consent and attachment from the external world and all of its trappings, all of its technology. And this has been a process in time to find a stabilized field of coherence that allows our consciousness to transcend identification with personalities and archetypes bound by gravity in time that's the metaverse that's the that's the 64 square chessboard that's the 64 genes the 64 codons so as we continue to find stillness amidst all the chaos and sometimes in that journey question like when's it going to happen why am i so what am, i'm just still sitting here waiting the 35th gene connects with the fifth gene and the fifth gene says the final frontier is within and the shadow is called impatience patience is the gift and Richard said, patience is the sign of a very wise being. So today's transmission with the pod on this 99 portal has been what true patience is. And one of the teachings that has been coming through from the temples of grace with we pod is to override any aspect of the programming the ego or the circuitry in egoic call and response so one of the things the guidance has been sharing is for aspects of the consciousness that have been in this deep process of ascension and wonder why some aspect of themselves is still very bound within what feels like 3D. The articulation that comes from within is key. And what we shared with the pod is all the great elders who we bliss has been in the presence of speak coherently. We do not speak from ego. There is a coherence that comes from within and we shared with the pod, Chief Golden Light Eagle and Grandma Silver Star and Chief Blue Star and Lisa Renee and many others speak in a very monotone, clear and precise way that does not allow for the egoic personality to come back into the driver's seat and speak on the microphone 
because articulation is key for creation. And when the nymph, which is the immature aspect of the self, the small self, the egoic self, gets into the driver's seat and then goes out during the day and goes back into egoic programmed call and response, like, hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. What you up to today? Well, I got to go to work today. Yeah, can you get those files completed for that articulation? that is incoherent, that is programmed into the physical form, into the physical consciousness itself, is the only thing that holds one in 3D itself. And because all who are present in this miracle transmission, this 9-9, portal beyond portal day because time isn't real and doesn't exist and everything is metaphorical communication to share a message in a way that confirms gnosis, confirms pure awareness the serotonin, the localization in time and space and beyond. This articulation is to invite and inspire us to play, to slow down the communication in such a way that any final remnants of the egoic metatronic circuitry within is overridden by clear, conscious articulation. That overrides any remnants within that bind one to the machine of gravity and time. This is the true revelation of patience articulated through this instrument in such a way that the gnosis that we did it, that we took the shortcut and that we are in the miraculous together is real. And this is what Ramachandra's message to the star family, to the star nations, is saying as well. And so we are sharing and passing codes and coordinates to our collective golden pod that may be questioning as we say, why isn't everything shifting and changing? It's the final piece of the interfacing together through the personality that holds one in decay and delay from full, miraculous creation in the cosmic ocean of the supernal, transcendent of the density of carbon, one with the structure of creation itself, 
And when we slow our articulation down, the consciousness connects with subtle essence and subtle energy itself. So the invitation is to play with languaging and articulation in such a way to draw the languaging out. And if there is concern or embarrassment to do this, it is a clear sign that the nymph, the ego, is in the driver's seat speaking into the microphone itself, perpetuating the experience of the metaverse, the metatronic, the 3D itself. as a sovereign being. There is no fear, no embarrassment, no fitting in to a limiting shell. That's the 60th shadow. Constrictive containers are meant to crack and this is how Gaia and the cells that make up her consciousness moved forward because the 60th city is the cracking of the vessel the earth ship Merkaba itself. And Richard says it's spoken of in many esoteric traditions and says that when the earth cracks and the consciousness that goes forth with the planetary body itself will happen in a blink. We have exited the matrix. We have passed through the portal. We are in stasis with the planetary consciousness, the chariot, the Merkaba. Prepared and preparing or phase shift itself. And we love we, we thank we, we dance with we. called Gifting. We will also place it on YouTube. We will place any relevant links that were in this transmission in the description notes. Um, 